I'm Emma Harris from PC. Emma Harris and I'm the Hate Crime Coordinator for Kirklees Police. And my, my main role is to oversee the investigations and to make sure that the victim of those incidents and crimes is well looked after. Uh, that they get uh, regular contact, regular support and, uh, and everything that they need uh, to, make, uh, to make their life just that little bit easier. Um, in terms of the situation that they might be in. A hate incident um, is, as it says, it can be any incident that the, um, that the victim or any other person uh, perceives uh, to be um, um, sort of, um, happen to a person as a result of their race, their faith, their sexual orientation, uh, their disability. Um, it doesn't have to be a, a criminal offence. Um, as the de definition says, it can be any incident, so it can be um, perhaps just the way that somebody looks at you, or it might be something that somebody says to you that, that might upset you. Uh, it literally can be um, anything at all, uh, but you feel um, is as a result of, of something about you, something very personal to you. As I say, it might be the colour of your skin, uh, it might be a disability that you have, and it doesn't even need to be a disability that, that can be seen, it can be, it can be a disability that that you have and you feel that you're being targeted for that reason. Uh, a hate crime, on the other hand, is, is, um, needs to have an identifiable criminal offence. So it could be an assault, it could be a damage, um, it could also be the way that you're spoken to and something, something that somebody says to you um, in a public place that causes you considerable distress, um, you, you feel that you've been harassed by that person. Um, but the, but the, the distinction between an incident um, and a crime is, is that uh, identifiable criminal offence. When a hate incident comes into our unit, our, our first concern is obviously to make contact with the victim. Uh, so I might make a telephone call to you or I might uh, ring you up and make arrangements to come and see you at your home address to discuss a little bit more about the problems and the issues that you're having. Um, I think that's really important to have that face-to-face -face contact um, and f for the victim and for them to have a point of contact should there be any further problems. One of our main priorities in terms of hate incidents is to make sure that the, the subject or the person responsible for the, for the incident is identified and, uh, and if you as the victim want them to be spoken to and advised regarding what they've done and their conduct or behaviour then we will do that. Our priority is to make sure that you as the victim are looked after. If you don't want us to speak to, to the subject for a particular reason, then we will take that into consideration. However, we're really keen to make sure that all people responsible for hate incidents in Kirklees and West Yorkshire as a whole are spoken to and advised regarding the conduct. If you report a hate crime, we do need to see you in person. Uh, that will either be at your home address or it will be at a police station. If you don't want an officer to come to your home address, then we will make an appointment for you to come to the police station. Uh, equally, um, with hate crime coordinators, we, we work in uniform, but sometimes we also work in plain clothes. If you would like an officer to come to your home address in plain clothes, then we can also do that to take a report from you. All hate crimes come through to, to the hate crime coordinators. Um, so part, part of our role is, is to make sure that the investigation progresses in a timely manner. Uh, and that the victim is updated um, at key points to the investigation but certainly at, on a basis that's agreed with the victim. So I'd be really keen just to, to reassure um, anybody who, who's suffered as a result of um, of a personal characteristic, as I say, whether it because of the colour of your skin, your, your faith, your, your sexuality, um, your gender identity, disability, whatever it might be, I would really encourage people to come forward and be confident that you will be looked after um, and that nothing will happen that you don't want to happen. It's victim-led uh, and we will support you, as I say, and, and look after you um, and so that, so that you, could, you feel confident reporting incidents in the future.